And now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. I well, still got some shower activity on radar at this hour. We're finding it over our eastern counties right now. Most of it's along and east of Highway 63, and we're still getting a few lightning strikes with some of these heavier showers, especially you can see in and around Houston. We've got some shower activity and it actually continues to sort of percolate just to the west or redevelop and then move back across the Houston area. Additional showers further south down into uh, parts of Howell County. Um, it looks like most of the heavier showers there are now east of Highway 63 and pushed into southwestern Shannon County and northwestern areas of Oregon County and then looking a little bit further south down into uh, Fulton County. We've still got one heavy shower right here. This actually produced a little bit of small hail, I think. Uh, northeast of the mountain home area when it was a bit stronger, but it's still holding together and chugging along right along the state line. Looks like that's going to be moving into Thayer here probably over the next uh, 15 20 minutes or so further west. Notice it has gone quiet. I think it's going to stay that way, at least north of the state line for most of the rest of the night. South of the state line, though, across northern Arkansas, I think some weather ingredients are going to come into play that will generate a round of scattered showers and thunderstorms late tonight. And this is where we're going to find wet weather, I think, to start off the day on Friday as well. In fact, if you've got a morning commute or you've got to do some traveling tomorrow morning, this is where I think we are going to find some heavier pockets of rain in addition to some lightning. Uh, as we find uh, again that area of scattered showers and thunderstorms developing that wave will likely shift east and sort of fade away as we get into the afternoon and then we'll see I think the attention turn more to the back side of the front where we should find scattered showers and thunderstorms developing uh, especially by late afternoon and as that cold front pushes southeast across the area even though we're not going to find much rain ahead of the front we will find scattered showers and thunderstorms behind the front uh, late Friday afternoon through Friday night. Those showers, I think, wrapping up Saturday morning. So here's our hour by hour forecast. The uh, afternoon wave of showers, now the evening wave of showers moving out of our eastern counties, and then we turn our attention south. And again, it looks like scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to blossom across northern Arkansas later tonight. Through the morning hours, that activity sort of shifts east and fades away. And notice much of the area not looking at mm, any shower activity. We'll also find, I think, some breaks in the clouds across north central Arkansas and south central Missouri. By noon, it looks like that front's going to be making its way into Springfield. In fact, it looks like probably by about 1 o'clock or so that front will move through Springfield. And we're going to go from temperatures in the low 60s, readings falling back to the 50s and into the upper 40s by late afternoon. So there's going to be a sharp change in temperatures on the back side of that front. Also, we should find an increase in shower and thunderstorm activity on the back side of that front by late afternoon. Temperatures tonight dropping into the low to 50s for lows, about 54 here in Springfield, a high tomorrow of about 62. Look at the warmer readings off to the southeast. Enjoy this. We've got cooler weather on the way for you guys too by Saturday. Uh, it looks like uh, after a high of 62 here in Springfield tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at temperatures maybe only in the upper 40s to low 50s for highs on Saturday. Warmer weather, though, does move back in, I think, on Sunday. We'll hold on to, I think, mostly cloudy skies, but at least some milder temperatures with readings back in the 60s. So let's put it all together for you in the seven-day forecast. Again, 62 showers on Friday, most likely here in Springfield, I think, late afternoon and through the overnight hours Friday night. We wrap that shower activity up, I think, Saturday morning. High of 51. Sunday, mostly cloudy. High of 67. And then there's some spring weather in there for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Maybe up near 80 Tuesday and Wednesday. And while there will be a daily chance for showers and thunderstorms all three of those days. It will not be a washout any one of those days. Okay, good news there at mm -hmm. least. Yeah. A little time outside to enjoy. What is our viewers club number? Well, right here he is. 236-151 uh, is tonight's winning number and our jackpot is $200. Right. Jamie, thanks. Mm -hmm.